This is going to be the first year Americans file taxes under the new tax law. These changes could save you money or uh, cost you big time if you make a mistake. Mark Kohler is here with advice. He's an accountant, tax attorney, and author of uh, the book, uh, The Tax and Legal Playbook. So what we really want to know from you today, Mark, is uh, should, should we uh, be preparing our own taxes, DIY, yeah. or uh, let a professional do it? Yeah, there's a lot of people that preparing their own taxes make a lot of sense. But it's such an exciting time, isn't it? You know. St. Patrick's Day, filing taxes, March Mark, Madness. Mark, I'm to get excited it's, about it's taxes. It's like the trifecta I... <laughs> of fun. <laughs> Maybe exciting for you guys, yeah, yeah, but not the rest of us. Yeah. So is there, is there a general rule of thumb as to uh, who should go DYI with, with taxes? Or, yeah. Uh, no, I think or, or, if you're making less than $100,000, you, you may own a modest home. Um, you don't have a lot of uh, different sources of income. Preparing your taxes has never been easier. Yeah, the, yeah. the president promised his tax reform plan was going to uh, be a lot more straightforward. Yeah. Uh, I think he said one page or something like yeah. that, but uh, not quite that. Yeah. But is it easier now? It is. And I think the trick is you find some software that makes sense to you. It's affordable. I like Tax Slayer. It's simple. It's easy. Lots of support online. But find what wor works for you and then start preparing. And so for that sliver of people without a lot of sources of income, it is simple, easier, and refunds are up. They really are. We hear a little bit of negativity with people getting lesser refunds, but in general, they're up. Okay. Uh, so are you finding that more people are going to be uh, doing, doing, it, doing it themselves? With, yes, you know? yes. But here's the cautionary point. Now one out of three Americans have a side gig. The gig economy is booming. And that adds an extra form on your tax return. And it's not a bad thing. It leaves lots of opportunity for planning. And that's the Schedule C, <laughs> Susan Charlie. And it's a, it's a great way to save taxes. I love that small business aspect. And a lot of people have that side gig. This gig economy is something I think a lot of millennials are involved in, don't you think? Yes, whether you're selling something online, driving Uber, a little side business, teaching piano in your home. But report it. Be honest. Yeah. Get it on your taxes. And then take all those great write-offs. Does, does it help to incorporate? For some people? It does. When you're making a certain level of income, I wouldn't worry about mm -hmm. incorporating if you just have this side gig. But once there's some liability exposure and maybe thirty or 40000 of income, you've got to be looking at it. Right. Why are we hearing that more pe people are paying more taxes this year? And are they? Well, I, I think those that don't get a bigger refund than they expected make a lot more noise. Um, the people that are getting a bigger refund are just taking the money and running. You know? And so I, I wish that more people that are getting a bigger refund would get out there and broadcast it. But mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a politically twisted topic, too. You know? and so, but on average, we're seeing in that demographic of DIY, do your own tax return, there, we are seeing that bigger refund. Yeah. It's your uh, belief that a lot of money is being lost each year from tax mistakes, people who, who just miss out on things. Yes. Over $1.5 in unclaimed refunds. People just not filing. What are they doing? What, what are they missing? What, what, what are they overlooking? Well, a, f a few things. There's a lot of people say, well, I'm not just going to file. I met someone yesterday that hadn't filed in three years. I'm like, get in there and file. There could be a refund for you. After three years, you can't get it. You miss uh, it. You lose wait, it. Wait, you haven't filed. You, could, you get in trouble for that. You, right? you do. But <laughs> there's a lot of people that are actually owed a refund, and they don't even file. It's crazy. It, dri it, it drives me insane. But right. It's, it's kind of funny. So you've got, a, you've got an interesting book there. With oh, a, with a yeah. pretty, well, I brought this for you. You know, this is yeah. another book of mine, What Your CPA Isn't Telling You, and I wrote it as a story. Who wants to read a tax book? Do you want to read a tax book? No. I, no you don't. <laughs> so I, this is like played like Modern Family meets, a, meets an accountant, and it's a story, and I trick you into so, learning so about taxes. So give, give, give me one example of, of what my CPA is not telling you. You know, um, the side gig. That's really it. See, if you just have a, a W-2 and a, some mortgage interest, I plug it in your return. You can do it yourself. Simple, easy. But when you have a small business, it gives me something to work with. Home office, cell phone, internet, auto, a, a lot of expenses people aren't taking advantage of. So I love to talk about real estate, the VRBO and Airbnb market's oh, yeah. booming. Dog walkers. You know. yeah, yeah, all of that. So think about real estate. And, and online education couldn't be more affordable. I love Renatus for that. It's a great little program. And you okay. can just study online. All right. Mark, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. All right. For more information, you can check out Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or markjkohler.com. We'll be right back.